Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and welcome to Tuesday Tutorial where we are making dinner for my family of 13. We're in a cooking series called Sheet Pan Dinners where you take all the ingredients, you throw them on pans and you throw them in the oven. I needed like another simple meal night every week because we are in football season, which is crazy around here. So I have seen Julia Pacheco, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, sorry, make a lot of sheet pan dinners, um, plus a couple other uh, creators I've seen do this. And we are trying Julia's sheet pan balsamic chicken with bacon potatoes and Brussels sprouts. I'm tripling her recipe. I'm gonna do six pounds of chicken. I'm gonna use one and then a half of, oh, well, you can't see it. I'm gonna use one full container and then a half of a container. Brussels sprouts, golden potatoes, bacon. That's what's going on our sheet pan. And then we're gonna mix up a marinade and put it on top. So first step is cut up the potatoes, then the bacon, and then the chicken. So that's taking up like, you know, half my counter space. <laughs> it's awesome, but it just takes up so much space. All right, here we go. I got the oven preheated to 375. chicken which I know seems backwards but the protein is like the main ingredient and then we can disperse how many veggies and potatoes are gonna fit amongst the chicken does that make any sense I don't think we're gonna use all the Brussels sprouts and all the potatoes but then I can save whatever start with chicken. Sorry, the dishwasher's running. Okay, so there's six pieces, so I'm gonna save three of these. Two large chunks. This chicken is pre washed and pre trimmed. I do sometimes just have to get like a little bit more trimmed. Just kind of like check it once over. Thank you. 
thought we were out of the My Little Pony phase. It came back. What's up? Looks good. Yeah. Are you putting the Brussels sprouts in with that too? Yes. Oh yeah, lots of Brussels sprouts for you. Well, <laughs> I don't think they're all gonna fit. We'll see. You roast them on a separate pan. Yeah, I thought about that. Put them on a third pan. sprouts in half. I think I'll just like alternate. Brussels sprouts washed and ready to use. Don't come at me. potatoes. I'm just going to go back and forth. Oh, I forgot to do the bacon. We'll do the bacon last. I feel like bacon is, can like go on top of everything. My favorite knife is in the dishwasher. Have to use backup favorite knife. I think I might make a third tray of potatoes in the top oven. My kids love roasted potatoes. I mean, there's really not a potato we don't like around here. Brussels sprouts, which is two pounds. Oh, probably not even all of that. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of the potatoes on the third pan. Just cut up the bacon and make the marinade. taste the same. All right, we're just cutting these into bite-sized pieces. It would be two pounds of chicken, six pieces of bacon. Oh, I forgot to look at the measurements for the veggies. Sprinkle it around, bacon sprinkles. this winter and sheet pans, casseroles, easy meals. Bacon. You get some bacon and you get some bacon. Someone must have spilled juice or something. Just like, what are you licking the floor for? Balsamic, which I think I'm going to have like just about a cup. I didn't realize I needed to buy more.
it would be faster to take off the little spout top, but then my hands would get all gross. So we're just gonna take our time. And that's half a cup. Can we do it? Remind me to buy balsamic. Oh, it's gonna be like, no, you gotta be kidding me. That is exactly a cup of balsamic. Okay. Nine tablespoons. lemon juice, half a cup, and then a tablespoon. I like this magnet over there that converts measurements. It's handy. Three tablespoons of olive oil. One and a half teaspoon of salt. teaspoon of pepper. I'll probably take that down to like a teaspoon or my kids say it's spicy. And then three tablespoons of minced garlic. I should have brought that recipe first. I didn't realize I was supposed to put the chicken in this first and then you pour whatever. You know what? It's just, just gonna roll with it. This is what we're doing. And you just try your best every day. That's all you can do. Still gonna be good. Anyways. If you are not like me, put the chicken in the marinade for a little bit, then take it out. If you don't have ADHD and actually read through entire recipes first. Oops, I'm just gonna put this one down a bit. Okay, it took longer because every time we looked at it, I feel like the bacon wasn't done. Don't let her fool you, I fed them. Uh, so I kept cooking it longer. I think the bacon's done now, let's check.
best part is that is dinner. I don't have to make sides. I don't have to make a salad, nothing. All right, this has to cool off for a minute and then I'll let you know if we liked it or not. Here is a closer picture video. Yeah, it smells so good. Okay, while well, we try and get kids off of the trampoline and electronics, so we're gonna taste test it. Is that I feel like the bacon didn't cook evenly, but mm. sometimes when you like mass produce recipes and triple and quadruple the like amounts. The Brussels sprouts and the bacon and the chicken. Yeah, good. Yes. They're like so, they're like sweet. Brussels sprouts and these oh. are good. Uh, they're like so good. I like these Brussels sprouts. I guess we should get the kids now. Yep. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to end that vlog, but thank you for making sheet pan chicken with us. It was a hit. Um, some of the kids, I should say with some of the kids, Jason had like two giant plates of it. Uh, a couple of the kids just couldn't really do the Brussels sprouts, which I get. Brussels sprouts is new to us. So, you know what they say, just keep introducing foods and one of these times they'll try it and realize they might like it. So you never know. But thanks for spending time with us. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.